Alright, hey guys. I got another piece of uh, crap from the 25 cent or the one coin store from in my country. And here it is. It's uh, an old fashioned coffee heater, or I guess it's a fucking water heater, that's what I would call it, not a fucking coffee heater, whatever, but here's the name of the company, supposedly that's the name of the company, it's H-E-J, uh, H-E-J, I don't know, hey, hey, okay, whatever, and uh, here are the specifications of the coffee heater, coffee heater, and it says it's made in China, so that's a surprise that actually tells you where it was made in. And this is funny. Look, hold, hold on. Here's what it says at the side. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it says, Please read directions carefully before use. Okay. And directions. Those are the directions. And it says, Number one, insert it into the water, then connect the power supply. Number two, the lever of the water must be higher than the round heating part. See illustrations. I'm guessing here is the illustration. Lower level. Lowest level. Okay, number three, avoid dipping the uh, bakelite handle into the water. So I'm guessing the plastic part of the handle. Okay. And here's an, a little illustration they did for you. It's the usage. It says boiling water. It's connected and it's in a cup. And it says making coffee. Okay, so I'm guessing you boil the water and then you boil it again with coffee in it. I don't know that if that makes any sense. And it says the same thing on the other side. Please read directions carefully, blah, blah, blah. Alright, let's open this son of a bitch. There's the box. And here it is. Yeah, it's like one of those old-fashioned heaters. I guess and it's in this twist and tie right here. So we're gonna take that shit off. And bam. And it's not actually too long. Let me pick up the camera for you guys. And here it is. And the cable isn't actually too too long. It's actually very short. Yeah, it's not it's not really long. And I'm gonna connect this and actually present it to you guys what the fuck this thing does. So stay tuned. Alright, here it is. We plugged it in and just like the instructions said, it's outside and it's and I guess it's heating it. And it's funny, because the second I plug this sucker in, it started generating fucking heat. And it was fucking hot. I was like, I was a little surprised, actually, that this thing even works. So, yeah, it's heating up the water, I'm guessing. Wow, it's actually pretty hot. It's actually fucking getting warm, really warm. So, uh, if you guys want to get something like this for your house or just to go camping or something and you have a power supply and you want to, you know, warm up some water, then I guess you can get this, son of a bitch, because it's really cheap. And it actually works. I was surprised, actually. And look at this. Look at this son of a bitch go, man. Look at it. Yep, it's boiling. Alright, so I'm gonna pause this and come back to you guys and tell you guys my final thoughts. Now, I don't know if this is a flaw in design, but I noticed something weird. Uh, this thing actually shortens. See, it just goes up. So you actually can make it shorter, I'm guessing, if you haven't fucking need to. That's weird. Holy shit, this thing broke! Look at this. It broke! It broke! Holy shit, then... Then I'm guessing that just about settles my final thoughts on this fucking junk.
And if you want to get something like this for 25 cents, be my guest and get it. But uh, that's the last time I plug this sucker in. Because you don't know what else can happen to you if you do again. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. And if you guys want to get something like this, uh, be my guest. But, you know, just get save up some money and get on normal coffee maker for some decent cash and not this piece of shit you know if you're a collector and you want something go ahead I'm gonna throw this shit out cuz it's fucking broke so it's it makes yeah you know, and it doesn't really have much use to me anymore but I don't know why the fuck it broke and one last thing one last thing before I go I actually had a person comment my last video and he said something about uh, a knife, right? He said every man should have at least one good knife and I was actually touched by this comment. Indeed, this comment moved me very, very so. And I've been looking up knives online, new ones of course, new ones, not used ones. And I found this one for like... I don't know, uh, 10 bucks maybe, and it's it's pretty small, it's about this big, not open actually, it's not, it's not open, it's like this big maybe, uh, so it's about maybe from, from the plastic part of the heater to about here, if you got, if, if, you, get, if you get the general idea, but that's pretty much how it looked like, and it has a button, you know, to spring it open, and it has a lock mechanism and if you want to open it I mean if you want to close it you gotta push down the button and it just goes down and you close it all the way so that was moved by that comment I'm actually motivated to buy this comment uh, to buy this knife online uh, although my parents don't really want me to but I think it's a good idea you know just take um, fishing just take out uh, you know, whenever you go fishing, you might need to cut some fishing line, or you might need to open a package or a letter. You know, you never know. You you all you always need a knife, right? For small small usage, but still, a knife is a good tool to have with you. So I hope you guys enjoyed the review. This has gone on way too long, and yeah, subscribe if you if you enjoyed. And I'll see you again later. Peace.